a short video about our um, pram hood and cratch, so the, the covers that go either end of the boat. Um, so when we bought the boat, um, it already had a pram hood and cratch on it. So I'll just show you those now. So this is our cratch cover. Um, it's a black vinyl one, and as you can see, it's got quite a lot of these boats. It's got a, a wooden frame at the front which has got two windows in it, safety glass windows. Um, it's got a, it's looking a bit, a bit tatty, I mean, the, the, the barge is coming off, there's also a little bit of rock there as well where the water gets to it between the, the metal and the wood. And um, yeah, there's a bit of damage here. Probably, I'm, I'm, it's probably a previous owner. Um, it's probably where they just hit a bridge. They are quite tight, some of them. Um, this bridge here, just in front of us, it's quite, it's quite low on the, on the, on the Sides where it arches over, and it's quite easy uh, to catch those if, if you um, if you passing another boat, possibly. So yeah, I think that's what that is. But it's it, it's all waterproof. Um, but uh, it's just looking a little bit tired, and so we're gonna we're gonna get a new framework and a new cratch cover. So we've also got our aerial attached to that. Um, that's the TV aerial, and the white one is the broadband. Um, which we might <laughs> we might change soon, I think, because there's a lot of boats we've seen these days have got a lot smaller aerials that just sit on top of the roof about six inches high. So we might just go for for that on um, in future. And this is our existing ram wood. So ours is a semi-traditional narrow boat, which means you've got like a you've got a, the back there. It's it's uh, open just to that part there. And then you've got seating area just inside. Um, and this is also my workshop, so you can see here. There's a guy got me advice, so I quite often work working here because um, I can I can shut the back down. I've got some lights. You probably can't see these now, but there's some lights on there. Um, there, so I've got some lights there. That, so I, I can get in here, and uh, it's, with the with the doors just open, let's open the. If I just open the hatch like that a little bit, I'll get some heat up from down inside the boat and I can work away quite happily in the winter. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I mean, it's, you can see this, it's got a bit mouldy there and um, it's looking a bit tired. So we, we basically, we've decided to uh, to get new a new Pramod and Cratch. So it's last May when we decided we're going to get a new Pramod and Cratch and uh, we looked around and uh, Kim Kimber Canopies um, are very popular, they've been doing it for years and uh, they, they make some nice covers so we decided to go with them. Uh, but there was a long wait because of Covid I suppose, um, there was a long wait in this, they weren't working for a little while because they were shut down. Um, so they did tell us it's going to be possibly October before they'll be able to um, do that cover for us. Um, and I said I'd do, I'd make the wooden frame myself, make a new wooden frame, um, with the help of my brother. My brother's a carpenter and he's got a, a well-equipped workshop, so, and um, he sourced the wood for me. I've got some nice sapili, and um, yeah, so I went down to my brother's workshop and and uh, he helped me to to run the timber out, to plane it and mould it, and uh, I glued it all up, um, so that's ready for me to to put up for Kinver to come and measure for the um, the material. It's either, be, it's either going to be canvas or vinyl. <laughs> We're a bit undecided at the moment what to have, um, but it, it will. It would probably. It probably be vinyl, I think, because it's. We're not very good at maintaining things, and I think if it was uh, if it was canvas, it does need a little bit more care and attention um, uh, to keep it in good condition. Whereas vinyl, you can just wipe it off, and um, yeah, and it looks as good as new. So, um, so I'm going to take these off now. I'm going to take off the. Take off the pram, or oh, take off the cratch cover, because I need to put the new frame on to measure up. So I'm just going to do that, and uh, I'll show you what it's like when it comes apart. So this is the frame itself. Just got to take the lights. I've got the light and the horn on here, uh, and these will up over the top. So I've got to take that off, and then just unbolt it. I think it's just two bolts that hold the flame down from the bottom and then the back ball there just a couple of bolts and 
you can see those actually. Just cut the bolts in there. So this is our new cracked woodwork and we've gone for one piece window this time so we've got more light coming in rather than having to split in the middle like we had on this one. Kimber recommended that we go for the top board, um, which is a third of the width of the bottom. So that bottom bit there is uh, 54 inches long, wide, sorry. Uh, so this is 18 inches. Um, but I've made a bit of a mistake because I made this board up and it's a massive board, um, 18 inches all the way back. And I was a bit concerned that uh, when uh, when the guys came out from Kimber, that I might have to taper it back to this end. So we've got a good sort of slope coming down down here um, for the canvas, but uh, they've just been out this morning and they've had a look at it and uh, they're quite happy that they can, they can uh, make the, the fabric to suit that. <coughs> so that's good, I'm going to change that. So just for now, it's going to be four weeks before they arrive with a new one, so I'm just going to take that off and uh, give it a few coats of varnish, get the glass fitted, ready for when they come with the, the fabric. So yeah, that's it, and then they've done the current. It's a bit windy today, but they managed to do the templates. They used, they used some um, plastic sheeting to make the templates and just mark it with a marker pen where it needs to be cut and where studs go and that sort of thing. And they bought these new hoops out, which you see here. And they fitted those. A uh, new bracket there. Uh, this is a new bracket in the old position where their old one was. And this is going to be a three hoop one, uh, whereas our old one was only a only a two hoop. See there, it's a two hoops. And um, we're going to have a zip in the front as well so they can have a bit more light coming in. And uh, maybe we'll get a cruise when they're hooked up and it's in quite bad weather. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's as far as we've got so far. <laughs> and there is a, well, I've got a shelf to go in. to varnish so uh, this is the this is the top board it's got a groove for it which will be for the to take the cable for the hole and for the tunnel light and then the shelf there which is biscuit joint here which will go into the into the um, bottom of the crutch frame so you see down there some Some biscuit joints in there on the, on the actual triangle a bit of the cratch frame itself. Um, I've got the glass cut now. You can actually see that there's a piece of glass there that's been cut to size. Uh, that's six mil, six mil tougher, that's six, sorry, six mil laminated glass, so it's three mil, three mil, and then a sort of purple and a plastic in between. That's just the onto the roof which takes the, the top board so where those two scrolls up there I'll go into that top bit there and uh, I'll just put these studs in and they screw in and then uh, they've got an 8mm thread on them so they're screwed down through the roof and similarly with the underside of the, of the cratch you can see the triangle part of the cratch there there's the screws up in there the dowel as well not screws so yeah, that's it. Pretty much ready to go. And uh, I did invest in some really nice varnish. Um, this is called Epithanes, Epithanes Wood Finish Gloss. And it's about 35 pound or, uh, for a litre. And I thin it down. So I'll thin down the first two coats. Uh, I've got to put at least another two coats on. Um, and you're supposed to leave it max 24 hours in between coats, but if you go any longer than 72 you need to rub it down so I'll probably come back and rub it down and put a couple more coats on at some stage. So yeah, sort of taking shape.
So, so this is the finished cratch cover. So we've got one single window in the front now. Um, whereas before we had a, a divided in two, you can see from the previous pictures. And um, we've got this lot wider board that I was talking about at the top, which um, we were a bit concerned about whether it'd be okay for the cover. But when the guys came out and measured it, they said, yeah, that's absolutely fine, we can, we can work around that. And um, they've done a lovely job. Yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So you can unzip the two sides. There's a, a zip down each side. And uh, let's unzip that now. No poppers at the bottom this time. We had poppers on the other one last time. But uh, this is probably better. It keeps its tension from that one. The poppers at the bottom. And that rolls up to there. Um, I'll just leave that for now, but I'll show you a bit more later. So inside, um, we've got yeah, a lovely view out the front now. Really like that. And uh, I made this shelf to go to go the full width um, just to put put drinks on and food when we're out there. And uh, actually we, we came out here last night and um, just as it was getting dark, it was quite chilly, but with the sides down and we had the, the doors open behind us. So this this behind us here where these doors are into the steel cabin of the boat itself. That's our bedroom in there, but the bed comes up and you can you can walk through, walk right through into this bit. So we had, we had these two doors open the fire was going and we sat out here and uh, yeah it's gorgeous really really nice we really like it um, so this is the top board going through Ooh, I see varnish now I've got a groove in there which I've got to run some cables in for the tunnel light and for the horn and also um, I'll probably go on a extra so that front panel there unzips and rolls up um, so that's a feature never had before so um, we just figured if we were going along and it's bad weather and we know there's no low bridges to go under so we could actually have that up for visibility if it's raining um, without <laughs> without getting wet um, but yeah obviously if, it's, if there's low bridges we can't do that so you can see from this it's also got three three hoops one there and then two at the back there um, this one here is still yet to have a sleeve over it and um, they're going to come through from the post <coughs> Um, so that's better than the old one. The old one only had two, so when it goes up there in the middle, uh, it was pretty flat and it used to collect water when it rained. Um, so that's a, another feature we quite like. And also, we've now got bungees along the side here, which are far easier to get on. In the winter, we found sometimes that with the um, the pop studs, the press studs, it's the, the fabric gets stiff and uh, you just can't get them on. At least with these, you've got a bit of flexibility to to um, push them over the over the cleats. So then it's on the side, the only three on the side. Um, around the back, we've still got pop press studs there and at the front, and you need to have those apparently, because um, if you don't, then you, you can't keep the tension in the, in the, um, the actual tram hood itself. And um, yeah, one good feature about this also um, is to tension it, you just undo the three Velcro loops on the middle hoop and just swing that middle hoop forward that takes all the tension out and then you can just uh, undo all the poppers and, and similarly when you put it up uh, you can you can you can set it the same way so yeah we're really really impressed with it it's uh, nicely constructed well put together and uh, there's so much light in here these panels at the front these little panels just here one on either side um, before on the old one um, they were just um, black fabric so you couldn't see the uh, you could see the album, so it's given us a lot more light as well. So yeah, we're, we're dead impressed. And uh, nice little Kinver Camp, uh, Kinver Canopies, and um, embroidered logo on the back. Okay, that's it for this vlog. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. And if you are thinking of getting a, a new prime wooden cratch, I hope it maybe it's been some of some use to you to uh, help help make a decision on, on what you want to do. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye.